G'day all, Ant here. Just gonna do a bit of an infusion on the L13 Blanick Wing, 3.5 metre. Playing it around. Just built a vacuum catch pot, stuff a bit of the resin getting back into the lines. Just made it out of a um, suction feed spray gun pot. It's got a few brass fittings tapped in. Back to our compressor. Got a bit under 30. Plenty though. It's nice and warm in here. Um, got all our materials down, been vacuumed down for about an hour. Got a resin line coming in. It's into a cup which is in the pot there, stop from running away. And about ready to mix, go mix up some resin. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay. Resin mixed. Get this show on the road. Got spark caps, everything laid in here. Hinges. Alright, we're about halfway. Got it in, back in the hot box. Get it warmed up a bit. It's going a bit slow. It's a slow hardener in the resin, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Still pulling plenty vacuum. Got the blue perforated plastic so I can get that flow mesh peeled back up. Without that, it's near impossible. Tacky tape around the outside. Still hose from Bunnings. Throwaway items.
Right, oh. Just about done. I could probably shut the resin off now, but I'll just leave it on. There's a little bit left in there. It's all going smoothly, fairly slow. You could probably do this from edge to edge, not end to end. It would go a lot faster. It works. It's worked like this before. So if it ain't broke, don't fix. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Using an epoxy resin, which is this stuff here. It's slow hardener. Nice thin resin when it's nice and warm. Flows beautiful. Catch pot's working a treat so far. It's not catching stuff yet, but it's definitely creeping up. Hasn't sucked it in, which is a bonus. Little compressor's working treat. Fridge compressor. Gauge, found it work. Drink bottle, catch a bit of oil, it's getting breathing a bit hard this one. And air valve from Joe Woodworker, all put together by Shane. Got another one here. This one's dialed down for just bagging in skins into moulds. Got a fan blowing on it, she's getting a bit warm. Yeah. See it's starting to trickle in. I've actually got a plastic cup inside so we don't fill it up. The pickup's been cut off the off the vacuum feed and I put a, a silicon hose on the bottom to guide it into the cup so we don't fill the bottom of our pot up. I have to chisel it out. Almost to the end. Right at the end now, just going to shut the resin off. Not too bad a measure, a little bit left, but it's better than sucking a big air bubble in. And there, it's doing its job. Coming along nicely. We've got the finished product. Did this one last night. Come out nice. Spark up. Recess for joiner bar alignment. Shane's done a magnificent job of aligning that. All done in the plugs. Plugs on the fuse, all aligned with the hole for the joiner bar to go through. The easy easy install set of tails done with infusion as well see we've got the dihedral built in built into the joiner bar same way as the wings the joiner fiberglass tube we've made up 
clamped in the mould other halves to push it in the hydro in the wing joiner forward sweep and yeah do a video after we pop one apart see you guys later oh yeah by the way Waza we have a wing it's got your name on it She's 1.7 kilos, ready to cut a fair hole in the sky. Got a tail there made up as well, just got to pump out a fuse.